Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away and Happy New Year. Today, I'm going to be doing stages 41 to 46 of the Hashet Parworks release of Build the Batman Tumblr. Let me address the elephant in the room, as you can tell, on Christmas Day I got Covid and uh, I'm uh, still suffering a little bit, uh, my breathing and my throat is still like this and this is why I've got this incredibly sexy deep voice, um, but I am doing light duties so I thought I'll start on the tumbler today, we'll see how we go, in myself I feel absolutely fine, I just haven't got a voice and I keep coughing all the time so <laughs> it's just the way of it, but I did have a lovely holiday in Scotland uh, and I did get to isolate myself for a good four days so that was good, uh, although we did get stuck in in the snow so that wasn't fun either um but we are back now and it's trying to be getting back uh, to normal programming so i have to see but uh, if i didn't wish you a happy new year then have a very happy 2024 uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a really prosperous and successful year. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but as I said, today we are doing stages 41 to 46. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description there. And you can get this all the way from pack one. But this will be the first build since Christmas. So without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> So it's all going to start with stage 41 and here's the magazine for that each stage comes with its own magazine so it looks like that we are going to be starting uh whatever this is the steering rack so we've got a couple of items here with some screws we're going to be putting these together like this we're going to be detaching some of the wires we put in now if you remember in the last stage let me show you that wire loom that was a big old thing <laughs> which looked just like that lots and lots of wires that's going to give us a chance to put the steering rack in place and put one of the motors in place as well so that we can actually put this together like that. And this is what that looks like. Once again, everything comes in the little box here, so it's all paper wrapped. So I'm going to get all of this out. Oh, so the first thing we want is this rack here. And as you can see, we do have the uh, teeth on this side here. I do actually want it this way round. And I've got the steering arms here to put in place as well. Now, these are all metal. So these are going to go on the ends just like that here and they're going to be held in with EM screws. If you screw them in when it's flat, that will ensure that the screw goes through the other side here without bending this part outwards. So that's the first one in there. And do the same on the other side. And there we go. They're both in like that. Now on this massive wiring loom, we're going to need to take the motor, which is motor number two. And if you look at this rainbow part of the wiring loom here, number two is just here. So let's get that detached. And this is what the motor looks like for that. Now, we haven't seen this for a while, have we? This is the front end of the tumbler. And what I'm gonna be doing in this middle section just here, that's where the motor's gonna go. So it's gonna be going this way round, sitting in just like that. Whoops, there. I then got a case to put on, which is gonna go on this way round, and it's gonna go underneath this to hold all of this into place. And then we're going to hold that in with AM screws. And when that's in, it should look just like that. Now on top of that, I'm going to create what we've just got here. This is going to be sitting on top of that motor, just like that. And then the ends of this are going to be going into each of the points just here. So one here, get that on. And one just on the other side over here. So we're using an AIM screw just into the holes here and obviously the one at this side as well. These are flange screws. I'll put the first one in here and do the same on the other side. And then to hold just this center part in here, we want some UM screws into the holes here and here. Now remember, these are completely metal. But that one motor is going to be able to turn those wheels at the front. And there you go, with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us swiftly on to stage 42. Here's the magazine, as you can see. Big part in this one, look at this, we've got uh, the chassis, massive section this is. And what we're going to be doing, again, we're going to be detaching some switches here, putting these on the chassis, as you can see here. 
and then once they're all in place it's going to look just like that massive section of metal this is and we've got some screws some uh, wm screws and uh, a mystery bag what's in the mystery bag let's have a look <laughs> oh that's just got some adhesive tape so putting that to one side and bringing over my wiring loom where we took number two off which was the motor for number two i want to actually take off the switches three and four so these are over this side here now when i take them off as you can see they are still numbered so these are the two switches i need and the first switch i need is number three it's going to go into this hole just here so i'm going to be putting it in exactly like this now when i put it in i want to ensure it's going to sit in there perfectly just like that it's held in with a WM screw just through the hole here. What we do need to do though, is you see these sleeves on here? You can probably see on mine that it's not covering the middle contact point. I need to make sure they're pulled up completely because this is gonna actually conduct the switch if I don't have that in place properly. So once I put it in, I wanna make sure that the insulation just here is covering that whole sleeve there. Let's get this screwed in and there we go. That's that switch in place. I'm going to be doing exactly the same for switch number four, except this time it's going to go on this side just here. And again, held in with a WM screw. And there we go. That's that one on as well. Now, because we've gone to the trouble of ensuring that the insulation is not touching the metal, we don't want it slipping off now. So for that reason, we do have these sticky pads, which will enable us to just put them the base of this section here, like that, to stop them slipping off and forming a connection, just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 43, here's the magazine, looking just like this, keep flicking. And we've got uh, a left side of the cage that we're going to be creating now. Once again, we are going to be breaking open some of the lights by the look of it this time and bending these up at 90 degree angles. We're actually going to be putting these into the side of the interior that we created last time. And then we're going to be putting the cage actually onto the side of the interior, just like that. So by the end of it, it's looking like that. So let's bring the cage up. It looks just like that, it's solid metal this is, and again we've got some EP screws and a mystery bag, which I'm wondering is it those sticky pads again? It is the sticky pads again. And we haven't seen this for a while, this is the interior of the tumbler. Okay, I'm going to need the light cable 16, so again, now you can see why we've plugged all of these in together, so it'll be easier for us to find <laughs> the cables, you'd think. <laughs> and there's number 16 just there let's get this detached and these are going to be going into the points just here so i want to make sure that the wires here are at a 90 degree angle because i'm going to be bending these flat on that side like that do the same on this one put it in and then bend it so it's going to be flat i might have to just drop a bit of glue in that to keep that into place it's not gonna harm anything doing that it just gives me peace of mind that now that's in it's not coming out now probably best on the top camera this is where the frame is going to go so the frame is actually just going to pin all of this into place here i do want this cable to be coming out of there's a little notch just in the base here but it's going to go on just like this there's some pins at the bottom here which is going to help to align it as well as you can see, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna be holding that in with three EP screws. And when we're screwing these in, you just wanna make sure that none of the wires are pinched. And there we go, that's in nice and tight, and that's all there is to do in that stage. So I'm guessing in stage 44, it's gonna be very similar to what we've just done. So again, flick through the magazine. 
And there's the other side there with some pads and some stickiness. We're going to be taking out the lights for number 17. Exactly the same way, putting these in and putting the frame just on here like that. We are then going to be detaching another cable here, which is a strip light cable. Getting this into place as well. And we're going to be attaching this onto the car as well. So in the end, it's going to look all like that. So here are lights 17. Let's detach those. Once again, I am going to just put some glue around here to help hold those bulbs in. Put them in and bend them at 90 degrees. So that this can come out of the notch just there. Let's just get that a bit more tidy. And then again, put the pins on the bottom here into the pins in the base here. One, two, three. And then secure them into place just with the EP screws. That really has reinforced these sides now. So now I've done that, I could just put this to one side for a second. Bring over my wiring loom because this time I need to take out this strip light LED. This one here. Now unplug the whole thing. This one's actually numbered number six. And I need the panel that looks like this. This came in stage 13. The strip light's actually going to go in the middle there. So it's going to go in kind of like this. And then the wire is going to trunk out through the opening at the bottom just there like that. So that's just a case of taking the backing off and sticking this in. Make sure it's pressed up tight against this end here. Because having a peace of mind that we know where this is actually going to come out. I'm going to have to fold this wire over itself to get that onto that section just there like that. Now this whole section is going to be going onto this part of the interior. And this strip light is going to light up all of these panels. So when I put this on, I also want to make sure that not only are we covering this, that again, that that cable does come out through the notch just there, which it does. That's perfect. And once again, I'm securing that into place with some EP screws. You know, I was uh, complaining about the wires in the last stage, but the way that they're doing it now, where we take off what we need, I much prefer that. I think this is a brilliant idea. So I get this one in. There we go. That's in place. That's all there is to do in that stage. So, penultimate stage, stage 45. Here's the magazine. We're gonna be doing the left shock absorber, looking just like this. Uh, we're gonna be uh, locating the front bulkhead of assembly and positioning on your work stage this. We're gonna be adding this to the front there. God, it looks like a fiddly old stage, this one, and getting this into place. Looking forward to actually getting this together. So by the end, it's looking just like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on this side here and I'm going to be removing the UM screw which is into this side just here. Let's get that out. We don't need this UM screw. We can get rid of that. Okay, this shock absorber support is actually going to go on this part of the chassis just here. So it fits quite flush over the top just like that. I've got you on the close-up camera. Hopefully you can see how that's in. I want to get a BM screw out because I am going to be putting this back into place, the uh, shock here. So this is going to go back on this side like this. Then I'm going to be putting this in line with the support and attaching this with the BM screw. So when that's in tight, that is now keeping itself in the air, just like that. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'm gonna be turning this whole thing upside down 
because I'm going to be working on the underside of this section that we've just done now. We're going to be reinforcing this section just here. So what I want to do is take these two screws out just here. One. And two. And I'm going to be putting in this brace here, which just goes over the top and in like that. Once again, that's held in with BM screws, and that just reinforces this bottom section up here. So, turn the bulkhead over again, which just means flipping it. <laughs> and then we've got the left shock absorber plate to put in, which is just going to be going in here, this way round, just like that. It's held in with two CM screws. That's one, and this one's number two. And with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. I'm guessing we're gonna be doing the right-hand side suspension. To me, this feels like it's rectifying an error. I could be wrong, but it does look like we are rectifying an error to make sure that these are soundly in place we're doing exactly the same thing on the other side so just like we did last time I'm gonna be removing this UM screw here we're not gonna need that anymore take that out we've got the brace to put in which just goes along the chassis like that put this back in and it's gonna be held in with a BM screw before you attach that you do want to ensure that the shocks here do sit above the frame <laughs> otherwise you're going to have a bad time turn this upside down once again remove the screws from the plate here and then we're going to be putting in this reinforcement plate underneath here and that's held in once again with the bm screws now my shock absorber on mine had snapped off so i have now Put a screw in there and I've glued that into place for reinforcement just this end of it here which is why I've put a cable tie on that for now once that's all dry I'll cut this cable tie back off but that's just going to keep that into place and that's going to stay in we can flip this back over again and just like we did last time this one's going to go on here just like this held in with CM screws that's the second one going into there make sure that's nice and tight and with that in, that's the whole suspension reinforced. So uh, I'm guessing that was an add-on to that section. So we've done all of this section here. We've got the chassis, which we put some switches in. And as you can see here, we put the sides on with the lights, either side of the interior cab in there. So there was a whole lot more to do than there was in the last pack here. As a matter of fact, the recording time for this is just over an hour. So there was absolutely loads to do. And once again, if you want to get this for yourself, there is a link in the video description and you can build this alongside with me. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.